Let's talk about inbound versus outbound marketing and what the difference is and really what the preference is. So inbound marketing is focusing your marketing efforts and your marketing budget on being visible at the very second somebody is looking for the products and services that you sell. Whereas outbound marketing is focusing your budget and your efforts towards being visible to an audience of people that may be interested in your products or services if they see information about them. So the difference here is you're being visible for somebody that exactly wants your products or service at the exact minute that they're looking versus your products being visible to a group of people that may be interested in your products if they see them. Inbound marketing is generally gonna cost more per impression but you're gonna have a higher click-through and a higher conversion rate, and so therefore you generally see a higher return on investment with inbound marketing. Outbound marketing is generally a lower cost per impression, but also a lower click-through and therefore a lower conversion rate, and thus a lower return on investment. So when really looking at the ROI, inbound marketing generally is gonna drive a higher ROI than outbound marketing. So really, when it comes to your marketing efforts and your marketing budget, where you wanna start first is focusing on the inbound marketing and fully saturating your visibility there. You wanna increase your budget to a point where you're visible as much as possible on the inbound side. So when it comes to inbound marketing, there's a number of different inbound channels, but the most popular are gonna be Google search, Google shopping, Google local service ads, and Google maps. When somebody is going and they're looking for a product or service that they're interested in and they need pretty much right now, they're usually gonna to go to Google and they're gonna search. And depending on your products, if you sell products, you're gonna to wanna to have Google Shopping running. If you're a business, you're gonna to wanna to do local service ads if available to you, or be visible when somebody searches keywords on Google, so you're on the search page in the search results on top and also in the maps listings if you're a local business. So. When somebody is looking for the products or services you're selling, you want to be visible on Google. That's inbound. That's being visible at the very second somebody's looking for you. Now, once they search, you want to then follow them around on social media with retargeting. And that's the best strategy to be in front of people on the social channels. Doing an outbound strategy on social isn't as effective because you're just running a bunch of ads on social media to a bunch of people and you're hoping that it just sticks in their mind and when they need the products or services you sell, they think of you first. That can be effective, but it's not as effective as being there at the very moment that they need you and then following that specific searcher around on social media with retargeting. So when they're ready to buy, they think of you first, but you first captured them from an inbound search, therefore, identifying them as a very interested party in your products or services. So that's why the inbound strategy is so effective to be visible for the very best keywords and search terms that, that are relevant to the products or services that you sell, and then capturing that audience from there and then remarketing to those people on social media, as opposed to an outbound strategy, which just hits a bunch of people on social media, and you just hope that some of those people end up buying. You don't do that. You focus on being 100% visible only for the people looking for your products or services on Google search, and then marketing to them on social media and following those people around until they buy from you. So let's use an example. Say that you sold a anti-aging supplement to women 40 plus. Now, if you went with an inbound strategy, you would be visible every time a woman 40 plus searches anti-aging supplement. You would always have an ad there. And then if they searched that and clicked on your ad, went to your site, kind of looked around, but didn't buy, you then would remarket to them on social media and just stay in front of them until they eventually do buy. That's a great inbound strategy. An outbound strategy in this example would be running a bunch of ads on social media, targeting women 40 plus, and just hoping when they see your ad, they'll be interested in your anti-aging supplement. Problem is, a lot of them won't be interested. And so you're gonna waste a lot of money on that strategy because you're advertising to a blanket audience and hoping that they're interested simply because they're women 40 plus. Whereas with the inbound strategy, you're only visible to the women 40 plus that are actually looking 
for an anti-aging supplement. So inbound, generally speaking, is always a better strategy to invest in fully before you even layer in any outbound strategies because you're gonna get the best return on investment. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and you understanding a little bit better about inbound and outbound marketing and how to invest in those strategies as you grow your business. Focus on the inbound first, focus on the outbound later. Focus your outbound only through retargeting efforts of your inbound as, as opposed to something separate. And if you do so, you'll ultimately see great results. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it, share it with your friends and follow us for more content like this down the road. Happy marketing.